Hello, let's look at Victomet. We are dealing with alogliptin and metformin. This is a combination. When we give alogliptin alone, then it's Vipedia. When we give alogliptin together with a pioglitazone, then it's Incresync. So we have these trade names to remember. Vipedia, Victomet and Incresync. In the United States, for example, the Victomed is called Casano. Casano, a very interesting name, I know. In Europe, we use, use usually Victomet. Good, we have doses of uh, Victomed being anything we, when we have a GFR, more than 60 milliliter per minute, meaning a kidney function is good, and then we give the normal dose of 12.5 milligram alogliptin forward slash 850 milligram or 1000 milligram of metformin. When we have GFR of 30 to 60, then we, uh, then we can only give it once daily. So meaning 12.5 forward slash 850,000 milligram once daily. Everything above 60, as we said, two times daily. Everything 30 to 60, one time daily. Everything below 30 milliliter per minute, contraindicated. Don't give anything. As we know, alogliptin can be given 6.25 milligram if it's giving alone. So alone it's possible to give alogliptin but not together with this metformin. So Victomet, please don't give it below 30 milliliter per minute. Good. Uh, which medication can we combine Victomed with? For example, Victomed is, as we said, alogliptin, then we have metformin, which can be combined with also a pioglitazone. So a pioglitazone or, for example, also insulin. So these are uh, some combinations that we can give it uh, with. Uh, don't give it, for example, with another DPP-4 inhibitor. So alogliptin is already a DPP-4 inhibitor. Don't give, give it with another one. Or please don't add a GLP-1 agonist together because there has uh, no additive effect. So DPP-4 should not be added together with GLP-1. Please forget this combination. Good. Which are the side effects? We can, for example, have side effects of headache, of metallic taste, of nasopharyngitis, of upper respiratory tract infection, of acute pancreatitis, of any diarrhea, of urinary tract infections, orthalgias, low back pain. Uh, we have also skin reactions like pruritus, and uh, these are the most common ones, I would say. Then we have contraindications, which are the contraindications of uh, uh, this uh, Viptomet. History of lactic acidosis, which is actually also a side effect, which I didn't mention. Lactic acidosis, so history of lactic acidosis. We have type 1 diabetes, we have acute metabolic acidosis, we have diabetic pre-coma. These are all contraindicated. Please don't give this medication in these cases. Then we have uh, other things like severe infection or severe dehydration or you're not allowed to give it together with iodine contrast agent when you are, for example, doing an MRI or CT scan. Please wait 48 hours then. You're not allowed to give it one day. Uh, so within the operation time, meaning one day before it should be stopped and then it should be waited two days after operation, then you can start the medication again. So around this time span, it should, you should not give metformin, which is included in uh, Viptomet. And then we have other things like severe heart insufficiency, severe liver insufficiency, alcoholism, severe uh, kidney insufficiency. We have acute pancreatitis. We have shock. So these are the main contraindications of this Viptomet. So please, once again, remember Viptomet is alogliptin together with metformin. Vipedia is alogliptin alone. Incresync is alogliptin plus pioglitazone. If you only remember this, then you will be fine. And then you can fixate it. Where is it? Where is it located? This all, this, all these names are very hard in themselves. But if you group them together, it will be very easy. Thank you very much for listening. Bye bye.